Hello, anyone. I keep. I should probably change that because I keep missing it up. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Helene here, along with Nakir and Ram. And welcome back to Dishonored yet again for the ninth time and the second time that we'll be playing with the DLCs. So let's move over there. And yeah, last time we spent quite a long ass time on the first the first mission of this. And yeah, I I've, hmm, I've uh, added a little thing to the pre-stream screen, uh, just a little uh, to continue the uh, to have up a starting soon message uh, still, just in case. And uh, yeah, I'm looking at some other upgrades as well, but I'll be up testing those on the weekend instead of enduring this, uh, so I don't try too many things at once and manage to screw things up. Okay, the legal district, eminent domain. Delilah once painted portraits for barrister Ar uh, Arnold Timsch, a corrupt aristocrat who uses his legal power to evict families from their homes and claim property for the Lord Regent, based on false accusations of plague. Barrister Timsch's niece Th uh, Thalia hates him. She has promised to help you to locate uh, locate Delilah for a price. Meet with Thalia to find out what she knows. Mm, yeah. Also, this time there shouldn't be any problems with that chatty program, because it ha I've, the program I'm using to make it see-through also has an option to make it untouchable, whilst it is unlike that. That was gentle. That was good! He'll snore for an hour. Talia okay. should be waiting in Trevor's Close. It's an alley just past the Wall of Light. You'll know it by three whitewashed skulls. Okay, three skulls. I'm guessing we're not too far away from the whaling district. Probably Pretty, not. Please, oh, oh bloody heck, I have having Nurgle flashbacks. And let's let's not have a freaking mine in our hands. Yeah, we, we don't trust you with explosives anymore. Stop trouble before it starts, the way the barrister likes it. I hear General Turnbull is coming to inspect. Going to make the whole city run like this. It's about time. Throw them into the water. <laughs> You're going to be the devil on the shoulder with these streams, huh? Nice. Maybe a little bit. Hi, job. Do I guess I'm closer to an angel? How could I delay enough? Okay, simple enough to get through. Let's see. What's with oh, that oil tanks that we got for a favor for to get those in? And it's the trans system going around. Uh, don't forget the rune. Yeah. And the guard. Nice. Oh. And you remember to tie the shoes, right? right? Yeah, you said? You remember to tie your shoes, I hope? <laughs> I don't have shoes. <laughs> You said you? No, you have boots. <laughs> huh? Right, true. Okay. Wait, wait. Some boots do have a. Oh. Guards, to me. Come on. <laughs> I know I'm awful at stealth, but I at least attempt a token effort. I was trying to. I didn't notice those two jackasses sneaking up behind me. I kind of find it funny. Mentos when he really tries to be professional, is the time where he fails the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I guess I just should try and keep a better hmm. situational awareness. Let's see. Assassin's note as requested. See. <laughs> okay. Simple enough, and we can get up here. Okay, yeah, this is a much easier way of entry. Let's see. We can't get over that. 
What is we might if we use the old tanks. Or unless you want to blow them up in such a way that it knocks it, it takes down everybody. I don't, I don't sure really see much out. use else for them at the moment. And right, look behind you. Back to where you were. Yeah, I know that the oil tanks are there, but not what they might be used for. for. No, I thought I saw some whale oil things so you can open the door. Nice. Apparently not. Okay. Let's see. If he keeps going, we can just grab this guy. By the way, arc pylon, so don't touch it. I heard you got eaten alive at cards. Blow off. There's an alarm yeah. there. The wall of light here. I'm not seeing anything of an arc pylon, and that's a lot of guys here. Oh, that's an alarm, okay. Let's see. I'm not sure about like the, the mo monster or what I suppose we call it on that uh, writing. Bunch of crap. Which? Uh, if you look up towards the gateway. Yeah, yeah, the boldest measures are the, the safest. Yeah, but they also tend to be the ones that uh, limit liberties the most. We could Don't do, do that, that, but it'd be too close. That and suicidal since you go through the wall of light. Yeah, no. We are going to need to disable uh. that thing. Hmm. This might be the first time that we are... Actually, not the first time. It was also on the, the mission with Sokolov that we were basically forced to go into a cert through a certain point. That's still... You must have him. There haven't been too many places where we got basically uh, railroaded through a certain uh, through one specific spot. Okay, just drop you here. Grab one of that. Okay, extra darts. Anyone over there? Besides that guy, probably just knock him out. Same can be said for this one. On for a hug. Okay, someone said something about a problem. I didn't mean to drop him out on that. There we go. So we are we were totally not having an orgy. Okay, I was starts. I was expecting Helio to make that joke. Yeah, Did you hear Morris was dragged off by the overseers <laughs> for some black magic nonsense? Pardon? You think you give slightly a bigger of a fuck that your team that one of your own got dragged by the overseers? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot they have something that for a moment I thought, wait, is he going to but no they have something. No, but you can rewire the wall of No, but you can rewire the wall of light so it can, you know, fry them. Technically speaking I could just pass through with one of these idiots on my back. And he's just going to stand there. Okay. Or just as I'm about to shoot. You missed. Well, oh, he's here. Hit the alarm. Ow! Oh. Nobody's going to hit the alarm. He just shoot his door in his face. <coughs> yeah, better that than my blade in his neck. Okay, another one gone. And that should be most of them over here. I didn't fully really see why we'd want these this many oil tanks here. Except for to blow them up. Has been killed by enemies of the state while heroically attempting to prevent an act of sabotage. Be vigilant and report suspicious persons to the city watch. Didn't his body explode in the slaughterhouse? 
Uh, yeah. Ooh. Then again, I they must have found something to identify him with. Most likely his ugly mug. And this was the remains of it. Okay. Did he spot us or did he spot a body? Because he instantly went to uh, stage 3. Probably the body. Or... Yeah, I think I see who he saw now. And who he's going to see the moment he wakes up. Sir, I swear we did not mean for it to look like an orgy. We were knocked out. Okay. Now we should have a lot more move maneuverability over here. Oh, Brad. What's your name? Who's paying for those clothes? You're threatening the wrong person. If I were you, I would strongly consider leaving while you still can. Really? That must be her. Where do you live? Probably some mansion on Clavering, right? Come on. Let's have it. Where I start cutting. I'm telling you now, walk away. You're making a mistake. Oh, yeah? How so? I'm here to meet a man named Dowd. <laughs> the great assassin? Oh, I'm really quaking my boots now. Left a proper stain in my britches. Tell me, why would he meet with a lady like you? Because I'm hiring him to kill a person. And I'm paying him a lot of money. Money you will never spend. Shut up. That ain't true. Isn't it? Your fear is obvious. You reek of it. Among other things. I'll tell you what I think. I think you and Captain What's-His-Face over there were sneaking off for a night of hanky-panky. Only your daddy don't approve of you making out... Only Just in case. How about that? You shoot him in the ass. I'm sorry I told you to run. In fact, I'd like you to remain right here. Dowd is very likely watching us right now, considering how to kill you. You got guts. I'll give you that. Sticking with a lie like that. I know a few con artists that can learn from you. <laughs> oh, hello. I was half expecting him to piss himself or something. But Somebody give me a hand. Uh, and finally we get to show off that uh, let, let's see, does this actually work? Here you are. Almost. Let's get on with it, Brad. Okay. They need to be <laughs> you <just laughs> <killed him. laughs> Well, he's still a hatter. Peter can't do the uh, uh, the uh, black voice for decapitation. Okay, uh, I, I was I was trying to see if he did had some sort of special reaction to seeing the actual assassin show the fuck up. Look at you, the master assassin. So you want to know about Delilah? Well, my uncle is bewitched by her, so we won't tell you anything. I require only two things: get rid of my uncle, and bring me his last will and testament. In exchange, I'll tell you what you want to know about Delilah Copperspoon. And I'll pay you cold hard coin for your trouble. Come back to me when it's done. Let's meet at the docks when you return. What happened to her nose? Is it broken? Probably. Also, you managed to decapitate that guy so hard he flew left. He flew to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that is his corpse cloud of hell. <laughs> okay, do not mess with Dowd. Uh, he will kick your ass and cut your head off at the same time. And I thought it's I said that. Such what? One death already? Uh, yeah, but like, would you only you need to kill like twenty percent of all. The Hello again. You need to kill like 20% of all the human NPCs to get into medium chaos. <laughs> okay, I should have I should have noticed these. I thought they were on the wall all here. Did I see blood splatter from that? 
the ass. Were there rats in there or something else? There probably are blood. Okay, someone was a bit paranoid about this. Yeah, we can't disarm them with these wire traps. We can't disarm these wire traps, we can only trigger them. No. What the heck are these hatters up to then here? Or they're just trying to loot. Good thing I checked, otherwise I wouldn't have known that it was a second one. A third one. And a fourth. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> also, I went to the supermarket, and guess what? They are already playing Christmas songs. Yeah, come on. Oh, hello. Yeah, uh, I watched this store today as well, and they already put out the uh, uh, Christmas candy. Which is way... These two last years, they actually skipped out on doing a big Halloween candy sellout. You sold small buckets, but when it comes to Christmas, bring entire aisles. I... He was. He still had his back to me, or did he hear me land or something? I think he saw you. I think the one guy saw you, and then the other guy heard you. Yeah, it was the. It was the one I was near to that reacted first. Oh well, let's see if there's a different way around. Let's see. <sighs> Not that way. I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually pretty fucking tired right now. I think I'm just, I'm just gonna bail. You guys have fun. Yeah, you can go oh. whenever you want during these streams. You're not required to stick around. So, yeah, have a yeah. good night or, or just have a good rest over there. Yeah, later. Later and rest well. Yeah, thanks. Let's see, bunch of guards this way. One with very good eyesight. Clue. Hatters may have the key to the Legals District. Okay. And I think... I think we basically accidentally snuck into their hideout here. Hey, we're gonna find your story. Yeah, that's probably their, li their little uh, outpost here that <laughs> we snuck in without actually realizing. Okay. I know you're here. Well, she was... Bloody heck in the territory already, so... Okay, just looking for a place to dump this down an ass. And I guess here is the best place <laughs> available. Okay, that, that dropped him a lot faster than I thought. Any unauthorized okay. individuals are to be considered suspicious and confronted immediately Let's with... Can those doors be opened? They can. Okay. Let me just start looting. A dead person or a sleeping person? I'm going to assume sleeping. Jancy. I... And by the, by the flies, I'm guessing they aren't that alive anymore. Can you? Yeah, thought so. Okay, he turns his back. I feel like it ain't it almost like you have a almost a on every mission at least one kill? Not every one of them, but they are <laughs> common enough. Okay. This guy's coming in closer, is he? Someone wants to get hurt. Just short. <laughs> Up of the morning. Mm, 
Cheerio. Got anything to smoke yeah, he, oh, can sure. enjoy <laughs> he can enjoy the night. He can enjoy the outer. Yeah, he can. He, yeah, he can enjoy the outside air. Ah. <laughs> what? That fog is blocked. Okay, four of them left. One, well, already dead. Is that key on one of them? I'm not seeing any green on them. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we have no need to stick around any further. Okay, let it recharge. And grab you. Okay, the heck is up with that cha uh, Chauncey here? I'm also a Chauncey like the Pokemon. Well, that'd be a sight. Yeah, why is this guy named? Hmm. Unless he's meant for a uh, side quest. Oh, for normal. Oh, Lilia. I, I, I know people say don't let the door hit you, and you apparently make the door hit someone. Yeah, he's hopefully still alive. <laughs> now that we care too much. Let's see, what is with this chain here? Is this another way we could have gone? Just all the way around? Actually... It might be your room. way oh, wow. Ooh, someone took the express ray down by the looks of it. Where is this room? No rats to guard it? Okay. That. Do we have enough to get something? We can not upgrade Blink. We need one more. Summon Assassin. Summon a Novice Assassin to fight by your side. Master Assassin to fight by your side. Let's see. We'll fight relentlessly at your side. They're useful as an extra blade in a fight or as a distraction to keep enemies occupied while you slip past. Your Assassin is brave like any other character in the world and can be hurt by rats and security devices. If they're not in combat, they also might have something useful or interesting to say. Okay. Okay, that is interesting, but this like, may also help you end up in chaos. Share your powers with your assassin allies. At level 1, assassins will benefit from blink and vitality. This means they can teleport and get an increase in health. Level 2 will benefit from pull, bend time, and shadow kill. With pull, assassins will pull enemies into combat. When your bend time power is active, Assassins move at normal speed. With Shadow Kill, will turn, uh, enemies will turn to ashes instead of leaving a body. Okay. Okay. These are a lot more uh, chaos uh, towards, or maybe as a yeah, a distraction as we run away. Yeah, though that may explain why she may be able to blink as well. Like, he may have all came bond with almost all his members. Yeah. Oh, he, he starts out with it at one. So he definitely has that. It's, it's, so something of a bone charm somewhere as well? Hmm. Let's see. If, it, if there is one, it's out of range now, I think. Hmm. It, Was there ever even one? Oh, up, oh, Any up person with information I thought there was one lower. Apparently not. Okay. And how do we get up there? So here, of course. Hello. Okay, that's just a guard. Mm -hmm. 
that, and there we go. Undertaker. The slightly faster one carrying corpses. That, that can be good. Yeah, if it counts uh, unconscious bodies as corpses as well, then yeah, oh, that would be a lot more useful. Almost. He got a glance of an assassin. Okay, why are you? Oh, I wasn't crouching. People have the worst taste. Might as well refill our mana. Now, let's uh. see. Come on, turn away. Hmm? Do I have to teleport in behind you just as you turn around? Uh, well, that, again, I should have, I should have kept a better eye on my surroundings. Though, okay, this guy was locked in here. Yeah, so what? Oh, he stopped shooting. All right. Yeah, he does. He doesn't have a line of sight. He he tried actually. Yeah. I don't try to shoot you. Come on. Oh, hello, boys. Think you're being quiet? I'm not sure if they actually notice me or not. They, they're dancing around like they are. As, yes, they see me. Well, that. Any unauthorized individuals are to be. It's all this sort stuff for the Octan murderer. Come on. You know what? Sir? Fuck all of you. Can we just go through and lock the door behind us? <laughs> Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Tim is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Timsh for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. Okay. Stash somewhere. And immediately one bone charm there. Okay. And a bunch of slings over that way. Okay, let's see. Uh, clues. There's an outpost overlooking. Okay. Okay, Billy will be there. But, uh, and head of a white plaza. Okay. Yeah, I, I really... Okay. This is getting silly. It's not your day, is it? Yeah. Watch me. But then they won't Fire. save you. Nope, oh, not going that way. Wait. What other paths do we have then? There's nowhere to climb up here. Come up. What if you my freaking aim at times? It went, went right over his shoulder. I mean, look like he almost shot his own uh, comrade. That is something that you can get pull off. Uh, that you can pull off. Yeah. As long as it doesn't count as you killing them. Oh. Hello. It's Dowd, isn't it? You wouldn't be in this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge to do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's the address, but I doubt you can get inside from the streets. There you'll find my journal, which contains the entire plot and everything you'll need. But you're a businessman like I once was. 
I don't expect you to do this for free. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Consider it your payment in advance. Okay. We were kind of... I'm liking this mission a whole lot less because it feels a lot more railroaded. A lot less open. Yeah, though it is non-lethal, so... Uh, like... More, I mean that more like there is... Yeah, we can't get past this thing by the looks of it. Because, yeah, the power lines are on the other side. And the only way to get in here was through that door. No other uh, openings that I saw, at least. Or know of. So, yeah, we're, we're basically being steered along a line in this mission. And that I like a whole lot less. Hmm... Could just be well, that I didn't see any other openings, but yeah. Drop assassinations give health. Pardon? Yeah, excused. Someone on the roof. Well, oh, that's you Billy. Oh, that one. Wait, where's that the door here? Those are all locked up. I'll probably act as a ram with this. It's like a, like the Lord Regent slash Spy Master said, people have been breaking quarantine everywhere, which is why at some point we found places where bo boxes were stacked up to go around checkpoints and such. Ah, oh, alright, that makes sense. I hear a rune. There's the outpost. That's on. Hmm. What's the occasion? The general's on his way. He's got nasty in the upper city. We handled it. One less mess for the watch. Okay, that's new. We got our uniform. The army. Okay. Apartment 10 key and Roland's journal. So Tim's, uh, Tim's thinks he's invincible because he carries a letter from the Lord of Reason giving him legal immunity from the state seizing his goods in case of plague. He carries it everywhere like a talisman. But he's also drafted the instrument of his own destruction. The document he uses for his direction is a generic form drafted by the office of the Lord Regent. It was trivial to acquire a blank one. Acquiring a forgery of the Lord Regent's signature was less easy, but thankfully some of my old connections are still loyal. Now all I need to do is swap the two documents. Getting close enough to Tim's to do it won't be easy. I may need help from a professional. Once that's done, the fool, uh, the fool is just uh, oh, the fool just needs a, a push to go down, and that's the second part. Inside Tim's basement, there is a device that circulates air in the building. If some material happened to find its way into the device, the building would reek like a weeper's den. I had to be particular about the actual material, as I do not wish to infect a guard or servant with plague and cause needless suffering. The unsavory gentlewoman living in Unit 10 has offered to provide the odorous item in a sturdy sack to contain it. She craves my rune in exchange, so I will be forced to part with it. She has given me a key to her unit so I can go and get the sack when I am ready to make my move. Okay, and that is how we take him out non lethally giving him a taste of his own medicine. All right, and I can hear that Roland cares about his employee. The, the work is there. He only wants to punish one guy, not everyone. This is yeah. good when he's well. He's not blind with rage. Yeah, anger is at its best when it's aimed, because if it's just hitting everyone uh, nearby, then it's not. Yeah, then it's just being yeah, an idiot. Okay. I need to be a bit more slow with this so my mana can re yeah, generate on its own. Okay. Check. Nobody here. Okay. Oh, I can see why. And that must be the sack. 
Okay. Foods. It seems that Dowd, just like Corvo, just eats the entire damn can as well. <laughs> now all we need to do is sneak up on him, pickpocket the uh, the uh, immunity sigil from him, and swap it out with the order. Wait. Hold on, I just realized something. If they eat the entire can, does that mean they are goats? Maybe. And now I want to oh, go on. Yeah, I'm just talking a bit to myself as I plan my route through here. All right, but I was to say, I wonder, do they still use that goat stereotype in cartoons where goats eat cans? I'm not sure. It's been a bit since I've seen a modern cartoon do that, but it is likely that they still do that. I can't tell if that's near enough or not. I, actually, I think that is too short. Oh. Okay, yeah, it stops you. It stops time when you're standing still with that. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I pretty much pulled a Wily Coyote on myself there. Yeah, you just... Get up! I thought I remembered something about tall boys patrolling this area, but apparently not. And again, it's only the second mission of this, so that would be a bit early to put those big bastards in. No. The episode is not supposed to be long, so... Uh, not and impossible. Not as long as the last one. I mean, like, was it each uh, DLC four hour? Uh, on how long to beat.com, at least. And that's assuming that some people somewhat spe uh, speedrun. What is this? Oh, come on. What would be the the past version of speedrun? Speedrun through or something? Rushed. Let's see, reconnaissance notes. Tims is uh, vigorous for a man of his age. He is known to keep himself armed with a sword and pistol, even when in his own home. He's been observed to be generally restless and mobile, pacing throughout the building. From his bedroom to the top floor, to the lobby of the law offices on the ground floor. Tims keeps his mother's will in a chest in his office on the third floor. The front door leads to the law offices lobby. Space is two stories high with balconies overlooking the lobby floor. The second lobby on the facade, glass doors, leads directly to Tim's office. Okay, that'll be a good entry point. And to catch him as well when he goes there. And at the see, bedroom to the lobby. Okay, actually, no, he doesn't. That isn't in the route that they saw him take. Floor top, uh, top floor balconies on the right and left of the building, easy access. A back door leads into a basement. It's kept locked, but a key was easy to find. The dumb way accessible in the basement connects all the floors, but it's a one-way trip. Once you get out, the panel shuts and the platform returns to the basement. Tim's carries a key with him. Any appointed chests or cabinets are locked with it. The side room on the top floor is also mysteriously locked. It seems to be an art studio. Apartment near Tim's estate has rooftop access to the waterfront district. Okay. That's the basement key, and here we have maps. Okay. We are here, and we've gone all that way. Okay. And yeah, this basically says that there doesn't seem to be any secondary access here. Hmm. Okay, you have anything to say? Lobby. Explaining his little system. Okay. Now, let's have a second look here. Uh, which of these is the top floor? Ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, I'm guessing. 
Then, yeah, 12 is private chambers. Bedroom is on the top floor, they said. And there's side... Yeah, there are side balconies on the... There are balconies on both sides. Though I don't see an easy way up on this side. So we'll have to go back that way. Okay. Though we do need to get to the air circulator. Actually, no, that... What was it? Um... Does the dumb waiter go down? Uh, ta -ta -ta. Apartment notes. Ta -ta -ta. Accessible in the basement, connects all floors. Okay, so that goes from. Okay, so if we hit the basement first, we can use the dumb waiter to get up to the top floor and wait in ambush there to, well, to steal his documents and swap it out. Okay. Yeah, that, that's our attack plan then. Again, <laughs> doubt needs to work on his days. Training. We can't jump that high. Actually, powers. We have enough to upgrade Blink. But I think first we'll upgrade Agility. So we can have an easier time moving around a bit. Whoa. An easier time moving around without having to use our powers. Yeah, Blink is good, but a bit of us have to use it for every single thing. Oh, that's nice. There's a boon over there. Lovable. How do we... That's how we get there. And we almost... <laughs> we were almost underneath that. I always wondered... What does he smell like? Rotting flesh? Wild flowers? Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. Okay, let's have another chat with the outsider. Here's one last lesson, for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead, and the water's rising. Rothwild's gone, and his slaughterhouse is burned to the ground. Even the Empress couldn't boast of a funeral pyre so grand. You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. You were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening. Okay. Yeah, Dowd is not a good man. Yeah, but he seems to be aware of it, at least. And that's more than most in speak of. Okay. Actually, let's have another check. Um, not that. Do we have that map somewhere here? Because I didn't, I didn't check if the basement entrance is at the back, behind the house, or just at the back of it. And yeah, still don't get, really get what the whale oil was for, other than blowing up. Hmm. And yeah, it seems that we can't look up those maps. It's a bit odd. Uh, yeah, you feel like you would be able, you should be able to just bring them with you. Okay, we have easy access now. If we blink, that yeah, that should be beyond hit. Okay, we're taking a bit of a risk now. And okay, yeah. 
There we go. Housekeeping. Doing what? Anyone taken away with a sickness forfeits their property. He does all the legal details, makes it proper. Doesn't seem fair to lose all your things like that. It must be, though. Lawyers know these things. Maybe they give it to children. <laughs> Wishful thinking, lady. Wishful thinking. You know, he's alright stealing. Yeah. Because if he was giving it to children, it wouldn't be here. Actually... Hmm. Will this affect things? Because it, it will start to stink the place up. Maybe you should take the document first. Then stink it up. This is scavenger ammo and greater mounts. Hmm, but the idea was to use the dumbwaiter to go up and wait for him in ambush. Hmm. We'll, we'll just see if this changes anything. Going the other way. Well, it, it's also driving the people out, so that is going. That that's likely to make my w jump a bit easier if people are, yeah, just leaving the place. Then again, if, right. he, if he leaves, then uh, yeah, he'll be in the middle of a crowd. Okay. For now, though, can we? Let's see. Dumbray the directions. Place the items you wish to deliver on the tray. Use the dial to set the floor. With one as the law offices, the third smoking lounge, Tim's office, and four as the dining hall and bedroom. Pull the lever and the platform will go up. When it reaches that floor, a bell will sound to notify the staff on that floor. Once the load has been removed, it will automatically lower back down. If you activate the dumbway without it, it will default to one. Okay, please do not write on the dumbwaiter. Okay, where's that dial? Oh, there's that dial. Someday I'll be the one who can afford this stuff. Okay. Going up. And let's just hope that there's no one up. Okay, there is nobody up there. Um, I got put worried that that alarm was a Tesla. Um, or, well, or I don't know something. Okay, he doesn't care about the bell. Wait, where is Timsh? Oh, he's downstairs. Okay. Wait, I get the feeling we were supposed to trigger him gloating or something. Then he'd start moving, I presume. I, I just knew he was about just about to start walking. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think at the moment that he's unloaded, so he can't interact with him. Who is that? Oh. Okay, why did that? Who are you? I understand. I'm strange. I was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jesse and the little girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. I hope that satisfies you. Because you won't get more. I ought to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. Who were very impressed with you once upon a time? Stay away from me. There are great changes coming, and I'll expect you not to interfere. I have influence in places you won't expect. 
But as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Oh well, she's a bit of a bitch. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have a reason. Where did you come? I probably should have closed the door. Yeah. I'm guessing. Well, I... Wait, what are they here in the room? Nope. This time it was the other way around that I was leaning instead of picking up. I actually know that was exactly how it. Been. Yeah. Anyways, we found a rune and yeah, that must be yeah, that is the Lila. Yeah, I, I was not expecting it to turn alive like that. Like it would explain why you were able to notice it in that way. Yeah. And it says that this Delilah is a lot more than just a baker's apprentice and a painter, huh? Yeah. Let's see, a poem by Delilah. When pretty Emily woke one day, she saw the, uh, the world a different way. Her eyes now looked with a stranger's guile, her dainty mouth now smiled a stranger's smile. Her hands now worked a stranger's wrath, her feet now walked a stranger's path. Emily fared, another grew strong, the stranger's cravings drove her onward. When, when, and no one who looked on Emily's face ever guessed who ruled in Emily's place. Okay. Um... I don't like what that's it's hinting at. Yeah, sounds very much like possession. And still, Tim's is uncaring about everything, so let's just block those in there and have a, leave another batch of <laughs> guards to their embarrassment. They probably gonna. Uh, I hope she turns alive and gives them a good scare. What the heck was that? There's a blueprint in there. Okay. What is that painting? There's something weird with the painting. Um, which one? This? No, in the office. Oh. Turn around that. I'm, I'm guessing that's the Lilas. <laughs> Let's see. Mother, this is Arno. If you happen to awake him while no one is present, I've prepared this for you, to remind you of recent events to help clear your mind and put you at ease. The plague has ended. I have married and will become Prime Minister, just as you always wanted. My sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you, Mother. Now go back to sleep. Rest. Everything is fine. Okay, someone is lying through his teeth. Though... It, if it was anyone else, I would have said a white lie to preserve... Uh, to say... Uh, to spare an old woman some worries, but... Uh, he doesn't seem the type for white lies. More like a... Uh, big fat deceptions that get him rich. Yeah, do at the same time. Why was that recorded? Hmm. Good point as well. But it would make sense. Some sense to record it, but probably is. Yeah, that's a wording there that makes it obvious that he is lying. Yeah. Like the plague has ended. Like it. I feel like someone would react to that and question it if that was brought to the court. Well, if his mother was sickly, well, she would be able to get out of bed to find out about that. And it seems that we have managed to scare the staff, at least. You just... You just keep quiet and sit still. Benedict, I need to know what you expect regarding the Danforth Holding Company. They're only a month late, and they've been good for it in the past. Normally, I would hesitate to invent a plague infection complaint against them and have all their 
asset seized, but they have a link to the boils, and they, as you know, are on the do not touch list. It's hitting a little too close to home. I'm afraid you may have to settle your dispute with them by some other means. Uh, of course, not only just using it, yeah, you know, not only just abusing the system for his own gain, but also helping his corrupt little friends. Um, yeah, I guess yeah. What? Yeah, it it seems we really should have just started at the bottom. Yes, to at least bring him into the game and get him moving. Yeah. I can see now why it recommended to uh, grab the document first. Sure, it breaks everyone out. But at the same time, it makes it harder to get the damn key. Poor timing once again. I'm going to go through so many sleep darts with this, aren't I? Or not? Okay. Short attention span is going for a nap. Take that and drop you here. There he is, and is that someone dead at his feet? Or, no, it's one of the servants on their knees. Okay. No, I think it's all blood. Okay, hmm. <laughs> that big ass leap there for a moment. I was, I was just trying to hop over the ledge, not <laughs> bump into the ceiling. Did you just go bouncing in here? Apparently. Okay, Rune is down there. At no, least yeah, drop this guy. I was hoping we need to throw him in the fireplace. Nice. Yeah, at the very least, is not lit. Oh. General Turnbull. Okay. I might have accidentally locked myself out of the non-lethal option. Unless I can grab the guard. Unless I can just reach around the guards Probably and swap the, plan the documents. Unless you can knock him out? Okay, Delilah. Yeah, yeah, that that's style, I'll call it, is hers then. No, I do not want written Google Assistant features active. For some reason, it seems to respond to my, uh, some, it, yeah, it seems to respond to some things uh, at any time you might mention them. What is that horrible stench? I can barely breathe. Oh. General Turnbull. Yes, I was. Please come. Ah, Tempsh. It smells like really? we were dead. I thought we were secure. Can I buy your ration and of elixir are. from today. The Trump. neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Tempsh. No, it's not. Please, <laughs> call me Arnold. It's one of the servants on his knees. Here, this will come. Yeah, uh, you look. Assassin, help! Let's beat him to the head. Know your hair. Who's, who the hell spotted me? Well, if you die, we can redo it all. But we won't have an elite option, so... Dying should be acceptable at this point. <laughs> okay. Uh, for once I was... Ex I, for once I was actually expecting to miss. Uh, I don't know. 
Okay, yeah, I, I screwed that up. And that's why they have the option to switching out first. Hmm. And yeah, now we either we backtrack and grab the key of, of, from him, or we just leave. Because there's a blueprint upstairs and a, a, a rune in there. I think we've caused enough mayhem now, so let's just bail out. You sure you don't wanna save scum? <laughs> no, I, I've already done that at, at the very least once, and I was I did say I was going to do that try and not do that. Okay, now where do I actually need to go? Oh yeah, we we need the the will. Hmm. We all we we needed to get that as well. So that's up there. And yeah, was they? <laughs> they're looking all over the place. Where are you? Yeah, actually, we can grab the key now. Me? Yeah, and if you die now somehow, but it's then uh, we can redo it all. Yeah, they saw him. Are they smart? They are smart enough to actually go look in the only way that you should be able to go. Check everywhere. Kimchi doesn't deem himself the beneficiary in the will. He's giving the inheritance to Delilah. Who? Oh. Wait, uh, to who? Oh, to Delilah, he said. I... Yeah, that, that didn't sound like a Thalia name. Yeah. Hmm. Bonded Galvani Weep. I think that's armor. We had that with Corvo as well, but... Okay, so he was... He, had, he was going to leave everything of his mother's to Delilah. Yep. Oh, they did say yep, that she bewitched him, so that makes sense. Hmm. Well, the... she sort of bewitched him. It, I don't think he, he, he should be bitching. I feel like if he was he was in fall with her, but then she did something one day and he was afraid. afraid. Yeah, but still, she's labeled as the beneficiary. All right. I find it a bit hard to believe that this mission can be ghosted, aka not being spotted at uh, one at any time not being uh, not be not knocking anyone out or such because hmm, yeah that 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 opened up immediately onto a bunch of the guards so yeah it would probably be very hard to get the ghost achievements on Your this uncle is dead this is his will as agreed uncle's dead I've killed now, haven't I? My, how odd that feels. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant of the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a pig. Okay. I, for a moment, I... Okay, let me just read. I just looked over and saw that my mic was muted, but that was because I just hit myself. And for I thought, like, for I thought that I'd been muted this entire time, but no, I was just being an idiot once again. Uh, at least a diff at lesser idiot than just keeping myself muted for all of this time. No, the heck, an artist beneath my family's class for certain. My uncle became infatuated, but he looked older and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. 
She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, that little dumbness of me done, at least. Yeah, there's obviously some sort of void witchcraft going on here. But why would she be after us? Or why would she be interested in us in the slightest? But also, Time Tom, she don't want you to look for her. Yeah. So much for the good barrister. He had it coming, though. Men like him can never trust anyone. His own niece turned on him. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's, let's go. go home. Not as plans, but yeah, that's the whole point of not safes coming. <laughs> Two deaths. Oh. oh, okay, that that just puts things up to chaos really fast. Yeah, prob yeah, we because we killed him, and well, still that's that's a real big jump all of a sudden. <laughs> hmm. We still and missed two what? runes and a charm. Yeah, and I did suggest maybe saves coming, but I did have a bad feeling. Yeah, we'll just have to double. We'll just have to do in more, even more work, to ensure that we get as as small a body count as possible. Yeah, I still suspect that us blowing up the other place might have been a mistake as well. Yeah, but we didn't have a choice with that any further. Let's see. The Surge, Doubt's Hideout. Delilah is a powerful witch who leads a coven that has moved into the ruins of Brigborn Manor. You return to your hidden base in the Flooded District to plan your next move. Jessalyn Colburn's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, the city was a fast disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I had held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic on the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colvin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. Yeah, improved. Armor and Stun Mine Extra Charge. We haven't actually used any of those. We should probably start with that. Yeah. And seems he is very regretful what he has done. Yeah. Let's see. We have a decent amount. Let's see. Let's, let's get that so we have a good reason to start using them. No favors, because this is our own territory. Uh, might as well upgrade the accuracy, just to be sure that whenever I shoot something, it doesn't whiz over someone's shoulder. <laughs> and just fill up on that. How much of these? We have plenty of those. Then... Yeah, that's just in case we miss a shot still. And... the stun mine. Okay. It said earlier it, about eight bodies were found. Does that mean they actually found your body piles? Down. We've been attacked by overseers. The base is lost. The men are scattered. Some captured by the overseers. And the leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we can regroup and take out their leader, I believe we can still drive them back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. Okay, so this is that Overseer attack, I think. It, it must be that the Overseer attack from when we were here as Corvo. 
And just some extra ammo, just in case we ran short. And hello. Anything doubt? Except from his journal. Not a stinking mouth, that's what my mother said. A mouth that needs feeding for years on, then would sass her every time it opened. First words I uh, can remember her saying that. Uh, when she drunk uh, for so long that her eyes stopped working for good, drunk as an ocean, it seemed to it seemed to me. I left the patched up shack we called home, but before heading out I reminded her of all the times she'd put her hands on me or thrown something at my head. The night she'd rushed me like an ox and sent me down the back stair. All the uh, time she told me I was just another stinking mouse. Last thing I heard was her cursing me from her bed, uh, cursing the blind dark. Running with my pals, we had to stay sharp to make enough coin to keep me from starving. Same story across the aisles. Not the biggest kids, but sometimes the smartest and the meanest when we needed to be. The only way to stay off the back alley mattresses. Not desperate enough to go out on the drain uh, flats with the, with the mudlarks. Uh, so it was the night for us, trying to catch the eye of the Hatters or the boys from Bottle Street so they'd take us on. But when a dandy from Circona stepped down from his polished coat, in a coach and cracked my dear Deidre's pretty head and left her twitching and dying in the mud, I snapped off one of the wooden gazelles on top of the couch and drove the splintered end into his eye as deep as it would go. Out. Last I saw of Deidre, she was still eyes wide through the grey sky. But now I like to remember her with a smile, laughing from the void at the one-eyed dandy with a gazelle coming out of his head. No one would take me after that. The city watch made a full sweep once a week for months trying to catch me. Even the Grand Guard came in from Karnaka, uh, down in Sirkonos. It seems that the Andy's daddy was the Duke of Sirkonos. I was too much in trouble for my friends from the other neighborhood. And who saw me tried to drive me away, threw rocks at me you know, to get me to leave or tried to get a bag over my head, hungry for the reward. Even the gangs cursed at me on sight. Billy's bad luck, they'd say, hexed, to make it bad for all of us. So this this is her uh, journal? Okay. You may uh, think you know what loneliness is, but I can tell you you don't. By late in the month of harvest, I had a hate inside me that would have you know, choked most. Then I met doubt. It was early in the dark morning, the only thing I, uh, the only time I could go out. Walking the streets of the legal district, I saw him up ahead. Three who looked like boys from the city watch, but dressed out of uniform. They were out for blood and coin, running some kind of murder record, waiting on a drunk barrister to stagger out, out of a bar at just the right time. I didn't see him at first, but in the flicker of an eyelid he was on them, out of out of the cold night air. He used a single blade, nothing else, and it only touched each of them once, at the left side of the throat. Their blood splattered and steamed on the cobbles, quick movements and occasional grunts, dark hair and a glimpse of a long scar down his face. When it was over, he made for the rooftops. I had never seen the like of it, so I followed. I could have stayed and looted the poor bastards he left bleeding, could have eaten for a month, most likely, but this seemed bigger. So I tried to stay up with him, tried to stay hidden without losing sight of him. All across Dunwell, into the wrecked and ruined parts, he crossed into what I could tell was his territory. Hidden sentries and odd masks. I thought I'd seen everything in this city, all the gangs, and but this was something else. Clinging to roof tiles and watching him behind from behind chimneys, I watched, and then followed him into an old, odd, an old building. Inside was all gloom, rotted carpets and desks full of rat-eaten papers. Paintings ruined by the wet. There were weapons and practice dummies. Men lived here in secret, training with knives and crossbows. I lost track of him and continued to explore, but I was a fool. He'd known I was following and came up from behind. When I saw him, I froze, waiting for him to speak. You followed me, found this place, and now you're not begging or running for your life. There's nowhere to run, I said. But I'm not very attached to it, to tell the truth. He came close and looked me right in the eyes, trying to see some light inside that would tell him my story. You think you're already dead inside, but I'll give you something to live for. You'll fight for me and kill people like the ones you, who've hurt you. He just nodded, feeling relief for the first time in months. Okay, so that's why she's her second hand, I'm guessing. She owes she's him her second everything. Hand? I'm pretty sure Doug is a he. Yeah. The... And wait. Oh, 
Isn't this the way that Corvo went out? It looks like it. These guards and overseers are like all obsessed with getting a known squad of their own. Excerpt from yeah. the captain's deathbed memories. I tell you, the very sight of the animal was uplifting. Its size rivals the largest boats and its songs resound across the ocean. The great fins are as long as two men. A single fin is as black as the rocks at the bottom of the darkest waters. But the remainder of the animal is as white as Tivian snow. Even the tentacles hanging beneath its face are the palest white twisting and dragging in the cold nets. When the great whale breaks, everything else is lost from focus, distant and diminished, as if you were transported to a lost, lonely place that does not, cannot exist. My entire life I ran after this dream, burned into my mind when I was but ten years old. Since my first year at sea, the apparition had left me. I have hunted its trace, following half-told rumors and the thinnest of clues, part of a song played by musicians in the Morley pub at the edge of a town north of Tolkeny, once from a sketch found among the belongings of a dead sailor. On a rare occasion I was guided by, mere substantial by more substantial evidence, an evening's meal and conversation with the captain who had sighted the great whale as se a season passed. At thirteen I was already well familiar with whaler foam, and at sixteen I was second captain sailing uncharted stretches of sea. When I got my own rickety boat at 20, I was already known as the bloodiest whale hunter in the isles, the most consumed, the maddest with frustration. Hunting and killing hundreds of whales, I never saw it again. I drove my ship and my men like hounds in the worst winter. Over a lifetime, I carried my hope of seeing it touching the cool dead flesh once it was hosted over the deck. <clears throat> I needed to hear its song again, to understand the effect it had over me immerse myself in its final moments of life. Pardon? Forgiven? No, ra no, racing against my age and infirmity, my growing madness is killing this vision, this childhood dream, so that I, I want, so that I wonder if it was ever real to begin with. My life seems already written and I have failed. I realize now that it was crazy, this dream. Did it really exist in this world? In mine? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, the, the Dishonored World's version of uh, Moby Dick, I'm guessing. Possibly, do a bit different twist to it all. Yeah, if the whale was even real in the first place. Okay. Bunch of overseers that we have to deal with. And we shouldn't kill any of them to get the chaos as low as possible. Can we lower the chaos? Yeah, by just not killing and causing any doing much that would otherwise raise the chaos. All right. Mm -hmm. What the? <laughs> what? Assassin, help! Oh, off to a good start. Oh, come on! That's not going to help us any. Did that kill me? That he did make up on ours? And that one as well. Oh, oh, Lobo. Well, at least one of them is alive. But how are you alive? <laughs> he was right next to the freaking explosive. <laughs> and that one is. Okay, only one. Yes. Do you want to die? Must want to throw it. This <laughs> this game just at times it just seems to want to screw me over, and other times it just <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> well, at least that's three of them dealt with. Out of how and for many more. What is actually is it? Repel the overseer attack, free four of your uh, captured assassins, and eliminate the head overseer. Okay. 
So technically, hmm. Then again, if we free our allies bef when the overseers are still alive, will they this go on a killing spree? There isn't any fight left in him. Hmm. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Uh, wait, I hit you. Guess what's one? That was four darts for three guys. I, I'm pretty sure I hit him unless I hit the freaking oh music God. box. I, I swear, that music box made me for a moment think there was three more people. Yeah, it did distort everything. Now, where is this room? I'm can hear it. Yeah, it's a charm. Healthy appetites. Okay. More health from food. That's kind of good. Heretical yeah. artifacts. Please lock this superstitious artifact. It was found on one of Dowd's men in the training area within the commerce building. There should be a crate on it in a temporary headquarters for items of this nature. Deposit it there after you create a log entry for it. Overseer Marcus. Take those because I definitely need more of them. Let's see. Captured the assassin, Officer Hume. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, deal with you quick. We also should start using these. I... Maybe that's what we were supposed to use in the other mission. <coughs> okay, hide this guy a bit further back so we don't get antsy. Okay, we have three that are walking through the outer layer here. If we put down a stun mine, we can get two of them with <clears> it. <throat> Music box, and actually... The city during the feast this year. <laughs> we can grab this guy, probably, when he turns his back on us. Then we put oh, down the mine... Or, okay, uh, I was expecting him to come this way. Yeah. If we set up the mine, it'll stun one of them, then probably one of other of them will see it. Or will see the body and come running to get stunned by it as well. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Yes, use the right mine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you turn your back, then we grab you. He goes that way. Then while the other guy is away. He's coming back already. Okay, maybe we can grab him then on his own. No, he's already coming back around. Maybe not. One down, we probably could have just grabbed him as well, but at least they will get to see this thing work now. You walk over. We <laughs> 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 even noticed. <laughs> and yeah, that's things I mean, yeah, I feel like the, if he had used those mines at the earlier mission, mm -hmm. 
things would have been so much smoother. Will our sisters in the oracular order make a pronouncement regarding the plague soon? I did not expect it to have such a range, actually. One, two. I'll just say, the men aren't happy. The prisoners are secured, but the interrogations are unsettling. The ones that talk are worse than the ones who won't. And there's still no sign of Dowd. We wait. Dowd will show. Remind the men that they're overseers of the Abbey. That Dowd is an aging mercenary who has deluded his followers for years. Yes, sir. I just hate the stink of this place. But you are right. Rouse yourself. See something? Wake up! Come on. Right now. I there you are. That was one zap that I heard. Don't go killing yourselves now. Come on. Did he? He he acted like he got hit there. Hey, wake up. Hear me? Where are you? Wait. Okay, we still have six of these. Hmm. Yeah, he, he seemed to take two hits for some reason. Like, it's supposed to knock them out in one. Where did I? Screw it. KO for you. Let's see. Victory letter. Overseer Pike, I have taken the Commerce Building. A temporary headquarters has been set up in a nearby structure. My men are dealing with a number of captives that should prove to be very informative. We have achieved a total victory here, catching the enemy by surprise. The plans for a larger crater net assault were obviously unnecessary. I'm confident that Dowd will show himself and will be in our custody shortly. Overseer Leonard Hume. Oh, he's not so confident now. And yeah, we just need to... Okay, assault plan. Okay, I'm guess I think I know where this is going now. Those assault plants is how they figure out how the other attack is coming, and that is the attack that they repelled by Corvo King around. Or that is my guess, at least. I'll take those. They were given fair warning. The litany on the White Cliff itself forbids consuming the flesh of rats. What fell upon them was of their own making. Where is that? It's up there. Yep. Okay, let's check these. Billy Lurk watches me closely, studying my decisions every move I make. That's nothing new. Even as a kid, there was a quiet curiosity there. Though curiosity is not quite the right word. But lately it seems more intense. I'll feel the, I'll feel the hairs on my neck standing up, only realizing a moment later that Lurk is on the roof or balcony nearby. Some morning some of my papers seem to be moved, m maybe poured over. When we're alone and Billy's comfortable with the mask off, questions come from odd angles, unrelated to our mission or to a specific target. Questions about what I'm thinking, about my attitude towards the target. It's odd, something to watch, another puzzle. Each one of my whalers is good, though my gifts seem stronger in some than in others. The outsider's mark is a mystery in this way, not something I can control. Those who, those who remain with me either gain in the use of my extraordinary extraordinary abilities or they don't those who don't i just push towards the blade the crossbow or the study of poisons everyone among them serves in some way and together we've spilled a sea of blood lurk is a quick study uh, is a quicker study than most but stays aloof with from the others it's no matter to me as long as orders are get carried out hmm. and another one the lilac copper spoon that's the first words that starts out with as well. Who is she and why is everyone afraid of her? Strange that the painter should have so much influence or that she should have any connection to my life and what I've done. My fate is my own, always has been. Problem is I don't know enough. There are, pe there are missing pieces. I can't imagine how or why Delilah is linked to the death of the Empress, but the outsider wouldn't bother saying it unless it's great again, unless it... <clears throat> Contains some grain of truth. 
Now it's, it's driving me mad. Like a puzzle I can't get out of my head. A riddle in pigment and blood. No doubt that black-eyed bastard takes the light and wants me twist into knots. He knows I can't abide the mystery. Billy has little insight to offer. None of the unusual, not of the usual vitriol when I bring up the name Delilah. Just a shrug. Just tell me how you want this handled. It's odd behavior for Lurk. If I find this Delilah and cut her throat, maybe I can dodge what's coming. The consequences the outsider spoke of. Or maybe ending her life will bring the entire city down on my head. When I face her, I will see the eyes of... Uh, will I see the eyes of the Empress? I'm gonna go through with it, even if it's the only way to save my own skin. Somehow I suspect there is more to Delilah than portraits and sculptures. I'll find out more when I talk to the Timsh family. Okay. And then lastly... Latest log entry. 18 years on this wretched rock in the uh, city of Bilth, I felt the blood of scholars, of noble... Uh, yeah, we've seen that one already. Yeah, we've seen that one already when we you know, played as Corvo. So, yeah, that is a... Uh, driven, at least. None of this would have gotten so bad if that damn fool Corvo hadn't... Yep, I hear you, man. Assassin, Come help. the hell. Yeah, I, that time it was just one again. And, okay, that's a lot. I think we've read most of these as <laughs> Corvo as well. Yeah, and I wonder, may it depend where you hit them? Yeah, the other times I'm pretty sure I hit them in the face. Then then again, they are, they're wearing masks, so that could also be, yeah. It could be that because they have a mask, that uh, it stops them from being one with them. There's just so freaking many of these idiots. Yeah, but don't you shot twice? You first hit him in the shoulder, <clears throat> then on his body. And I think it's more effective when you shoot them in the face or shoulder, uh, 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 the face or torso. But you just uh, the limbs may not be as affected. Let's try something for a second. Are the new applicants as weak as the last set? No, no, no. Let's throw that there as a distraction. See how far they'll go running. If they go running, we'll find they didn't. We know you're here. So one's a bit stuck. I'll feed your heart to the house. I should have probably expected that if any of them were to look in my direction because it was out in the freaking open. But maybe that will lure them over. They have a way to get here. They are just not using it. Okay. Is there any entrance here? Nope. It, it seems that... It may just be me. Or actually, that's also... It's probably because we went into high chaos. When there's high chaos, there are more guards around. So that's likely why there are so many here now as well. Yeah. Again, we want to try and avoid killing as much as possible. Come on. These guys are getting better eyesight with every time, it seems. Even with their freaking masks. Okay, quickly choke you out. And get spotted, of course. Might as well try this out. Catch. They only caught two of them. Okay. Well, those two are keeping themselves busy. Let's give the other side another try. Keep your eyes. Where are you? I return. You keep going. Yeah, it's nice. One, 
to you. Okay. Well, the moment I saw it, they instantly saw me there, and I'm not getting blamed for that. What the heck? I'm totally getting blamed for that, probably. Oh, I'll find you. Okay, he got away. Wait. Oh. One. I know you're here. Assassin, yeah. help! Uh. Oh, fire! That was a miss, and that's an explosive. And that went somewhere sensitive, and that one as well. I was not intentionally doing that. And you think one of them blew themselves up? Cut the rope. My hands are cast. This is what I came yeah, I, for. Let's see, unconscious, unconscious, one dead. That, that was the one that I choked out first, I think. The other one got up yeah so that's another yeah. one dead i saw a splat of blood when the explosion came so i suspect that yeah they killed the first one you knocked out and the one that was nearby when the grenade went off he didn't die because of course i mean only two of these left <sighs> yeah this DLC is not going well. Yeah. And, you know, if we end up with a high or medium uh, ending because of all of this, uh, we'll just have to live with that. For a moment, yeah. I thought there was a freaking overseer here. I think you can be paranoid, my friend. Three, two here, three here. None of this would have gotten so bad if that damn fool Corvo hadn't killed the Empress. <laughs> okay. We should see if we can get Ben's time now. Actually, there was one more blink to the tower. For longer distance. Yeah, we are getting that. And we're getting the first level of that. That should at least help us get uh, spotted less. Okay. Bone charm on the body there. At the very least, they're not waking up their knocked out allies. Yes, that's kinda good. Otherwise, it'd be quite annoying. There's one up there. Actually, there's two up there because there was one with the music box as well. If he comes back, I'll earn another promotion. Seems that none of these guys have sleep darts. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack. I see you. No, you did not. I'm not going to waste this arc mine on one guy. Not that I'm not enjoying the DLC, it's just that I'm getting annoyed with my own incompetence. Uh, well, it is also very... annoyingly designed. Let's see, uh... This map shows a coordinated sweep of the flooded district. But the overseers here didn't stick to the plan. Someone must have tipped them off. Someone tipped... Do we have ourselves... a mole? I know you're here. Yeah, you know that I'm in the area, but you don't know where I am exactly. I'd rather not shout. And I'm not going to shout for myself as we need anyways. Need that. 
Oh, yeah, we shot down. Yodel, hee 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 Wait, that's... Give yourself up. Yes, I'm yodel, hee 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 Okay, I, I probably should not have loved yodel. Note to self, never yodel during assassination. Yeah. Oh, self. <laughs> Okay. Then we can go all the way around again. Not that power. This power. Uh, yeah, we just seem to be getting caught on almost every freaking turn. That's a Okay, it's a bit of a wanted list of the people he's been sent after, I'm guessing. Very possible. Okay, where? There is that charm. Okay. Robust. That's going to be more health. No. Where will we end up with a blink from here? Down there? Okay. At least now we're not as choke pointed as before. As choke pointed as before. Oh, we could have just gone that way. Look out. We got some skull guys. Okay, I. <clears throat> What is that? Is that a key? No, that's a okay, tube. Idiot. Time to check. They were given fair warning. The litany on the white cliff they, These guys seem a lot more alert than the normal guards. Then again, they are overseers. They're supposed to be a sort of, you know, semi-elite. I know you're here. Yeah, at least in regard of uh, hunting down, uh, well, magic users. He's going to... No, he's not going to keep staring. But they are leaving their captive alone. So can I get a... Yes, I can. Okay. If any of those assholes turn around... Any of those. And I almost ran right in mid in into that. This is the waste. These ones never talk. Come on. Okay, can I lure these guys away? I am going to pull the pin if no one will even die. Okay, they're threatening to blow them up. So mm, I get the feeling if I'm going throwing going to throw that grenade, it's going to bounce off towards them and kill all of them. At least you got to find more darts. Earlier. Him out. Untie. And out. Freaking jumping Jackie. Wait. Wait. Hey. He got killed by them. Okay. okay, that is probably going to lean things to chaos even more. Abandoned journal. I've managed to make a space for myself here. Thankfully, Roger is all but completely abandoned. Up in this room, I'm protected from the occasional scavenger and the flooding during heavy rain. I'd like to return to my office in the Commerce Building to see if I can find some of my old books, but I've yet to you know, build up the courage. Eventually, I'll run out of camp meets and I have no choice. No need for courage when desperation kicks in. Okay, yeah, that, that was a risky thing that I did. Yeah, I should have lured them away first. Screw. Oh. And it, of all the ones I run into, one of, 
probably the last one with the fitting music box. Or actually, no, the, is he just constantly playing now? Just so freaking many guards. Uh. At least I have more sleep darts now, so I can keep the further killing to a minimum. Miss. Another miss. <sighs> yeah, I'm guessing you could say that going into high chaos also turns the game into hard mode. Yeah. Okay, do I have a freaking line now? No, I do not. Fucking quiet. Where are you? And out. Yeah, now I'm just getting freaking annoyed. So uh, actually, will this work? Actually, no. This it's choke dust, not knockout gas. Hush. <sighs> And of course, right when I'm trying to lure them away, one of these idiots walks up next to it. Okay, that sends them running. Yeah, it looks like we're probably, at the very least, probably going. Uh -huh. For medium chaos, probably. Like, seriously, I landed behind him. How did he. All of you, choke on that, literally and figuratively. Yeah, it is. Uh, it seems like if you have gotten hard, hard, uh, high chaos, it's gonna be punishing and hard to lower it. Well, at the very least, I got the motherfucker directly this time, even if it just a spite. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm guessing they are sort of making it as if you go into high chaos, they're making it especially hard for you. That's a good freaking arm on that guy. They're making it especially hard for you to get back down to low chaos. Yeah. I don't know if I like that or not. Sure, it's a bit of a karma, but still. Yeah. It's, it, in this case, it's a bit of an overkill. Yeah, especially for how little we actually did. Yeah, we... No, we it, blew up the refinery, and we killed the, the, the previous jackass. But beyond that, yeah. it was only, like, less than a handful of uh, actual kills. Yeah, it said it was low on last one. So how we killed only one man turned into high is... Well, two people. Or was it? Give me that. Uh, two people and suddenly went too high. If I miss with this last bolt, I'm going to scream or something. Uh, I should probably be ready Actually, to Actually, I know. Bolt. I think I know how to ensure that this one is going to hit at the moment that we can get up this freaking chain. And I'm going to use Ben time and then shoot the asshole. Okay, at the very least, this upper area is mostly clear. Okay. I was wanting to go for Ben time, not blink. But that's my frustration making me careless or rush things now okay line of sight bend time oh we actually got two there we go and 
now with them gone, the assassins can come help us deal with the rest. And hopefully there is a non non-lethal option. And of course he's on the one side that doesn't have a direct entrance to here, so we have to go around again. At the very least, once we talk with them, I think, slash hope, that the level will be over. Oh. See? Uh, because we're running a bit short on time now. And yeah, to go from one mission in two hours to two in two hours, that's a lot of an improvement. What is your will? Okay, capture them. Capture as many as you can. Their plans are ruined. Master Dowd. That was freaking quick. Give me a report. The Overseer leader will be questioned when he regains consciousness. His forces were utterly destroyed. Any survivors have fled. They were planning a larger assault. But this group of Overseers attacked early, without the others from the Abbey. Where's Lurk? I'm here. I was held up. The Overseers had us trapped. They've... Oh. You. Yes. Me. Everything is falling into place. Though I'd hoped the Overseers would be capable of finishing you in one try. Overseer Hume was just a little too ambitious. Fortunately, I still have one card left to play. Lurk. Sorry, Dowd. But you knew this was coming. Even if you didn't think it was so soon. You've been slipping. Ever since the Empress died. It's my time now. Your little empire's fallen to bits. Your men are dead in the streets, and our dark-eyed friend has lost interest in helping you. Quiet, Delilah. You're right. But I'm going to show respect. Dowd. Blades out. We'll do this properly. Come on! You know what? Screw this. Get here. Get zapped, hopefully. Or not. Okay. And we have at least one. That wasn't enough. Did she block it? We'll deal with you later. Where is that witch? Are you serious? Defeat bit she is defeated. Is it going to force me to kill her now? <laughs> I'm I'm starting to like this DLC less and less now. Yeah, Miss Mother! Is this this year where low chaos is extremely hard to do? Scare their children with the legend of Dad, the knife of Dunbar. 
who never chose sides, who preyed on the city's lords, who never swore fealty, who brought down overseers, once even an empress. I wonder what the final chapter will be. What happens to scary monsters in the end? What? I think that was the end of this DLC because the next one follows directly after this. Yeah, wait, wait. Look at the chaos, the bit popped. And now it went low. What? Okay. That I guess that explains part of why it suddenly skyrocketed up. There's just... <laughs> it's just short, I presume. Possibly, or they just wanted to give you a scare and a reason to why there's so many overseers. Maybe. We'll see once we press enter. And yeah, that was the first DLC. Okay. So... Okay, my, yeah, bit of a mixed opinion now at the moment. That only three missions, with two of them being, with two of them being a bit railroady, like the. Hmm. Well, it, it, they are all short, so. Yeah. It's probably a bit hard to do it very freedom like on four hours. Yeah, it, it was still enjoyable. It, it this was still enjoyable, and well, it <laughs> we just hit the expected four hours on this as well. It seems. Yep. Hmm. The last one we don't need to deal with two. Oh, what the hell? Saying we have another DLC, which, yeah, which is going to be a direct sequel to this. Yeah, I, I just pray. It'd be a bit more merciful than this one. Yeah, let me do a little look on this one. Anything else that might have happened? Let's see. Let's put, uh, characters. I'm looking up TV tropes now at the moment. Okay, is there something? Yep. Not Tales from Dunwell. Um, Loud and Bailey Lurk. Okay, that's a, a semi-spoiler there at the start. It seems he... Hmm. Okay, canonically, she doesn't die here, it seems. She does return later. Hmm. <laughs> Lots of stuff spoiled here because she, yeah, she is going to. I'm not going to say up where she's going to show up because that would be a spoiler as well. Just makes me wonder if we were able to spare her. Probably. If, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. If maybe if we had gone, if maybe if we had. Actually, I. Hmm. Maybe if we'd been more stealthful, then she wouldn't have turned uh, turned on us because she did say that we were slipping as an assassin. Or she could be demeaning that as in skill. Or... Yeah, maybe in morals. In that we were killing less. Hmm. Or, well... An assassin is supposed to carry out their job, not... Blindly killing everything inside, and well, then you're not much of an assassin anymore. Yeah, m maybe it was because we were at high chaos in that. Maybe I'd have to look things up, but yeah. Uh, yep. uh, okay, let's see. Even in high chaos, where she completely turns on Dowd. She considers him uh, a worthy opponent and insists on fighting him one on one. Okay, so it is because we were, we hit high chaos there all of a sudden, which I'm guessing means that if we had low chaos, she would not have turned on us. And that's enough of that. And I guess. Yeah, that's the knife of Dunwall. 
that, that may explain what the, why the Elder level was so weird and felt like it was railroad. They, it, the railroading was the difficulty. Yeah, and it was more yeah. in the, its design. The other, the other levels with poor vote were a lot more open than that one. And yeah, also, just the, the first mission here was also so a lot more open for the first actual mi mission and not the uh, dream sequence. Yeah, it, it really forced you to, like, I feel like you were meant to use the mines there, but we, we didn't even think of using the mines at that level to take care of the barista. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, we sh we should have we should have swapped the documents first because I remember there that if you, you notice that he's the mission failed the moment that he showed the papers to that uh, general or captain or whatever. If we yeah. had swapped it, it would have shown he instead would have shown him an eviction notice for himself. And yeah, if we had if we had somehow gotten the general to view that later. He would have noticed that, hey, this said something different earlier. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, w that was just a fail on planning on my end, so oh well. Yeah, and I, I did tell you to not do it. <laughs> yeah, so in entirely my fault, so I will live up. I, yeah, I will... Uh, yeah, I will live up to the fact that I screwed... You know, sort of screwed this up. Technically, I didn't because we still got to the end. We just got yeah, the quote-unquote bad ending with it. Yeah, though we did get low chaos as well, weirdly enough, but I'm so confused. Yeah. I'm guessing the main... I'm guessing the major point was uh, if, yeah, Billy turned against us or not. And that that determined the good or bad. And yeah, yeah, since there was high chaos when we entered, uh, we were going to hit bad ending anyways. Yeah, bloody hit. And it does make sense that we didn't have the option to knock her out because, yeah, then she would have been alive to try again. And yeah, that's not good for the leader of an assassin group. True. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, but for now then, yeah, next week, the other DLC for this, and let's hope we do it a bit better at that, don't we? Won't we? I hope so. If not, there will be consequences. Actually, I don't think there is an over... I don't think there. you can actually transfer a save over to Dishonored 2. Or maybe it does. It, not that I've heard of, at least. I hope not. Uh, yeah. For now, though, anyone has been watching now or later, thank you for watching, and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah, Saturday, uh, back to Hard Space Shipbreaker again. I think we'll probably be busy with that for at least one or two more streams. What to do after, I'm not entirely sure yet. And yeah, Sunday, the usual, up to four games you know, that are going to be tried out. Uh, but yeah, as always, until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks!